Okay. I think I'm going to do a vlog. May as well. So we're doing a um, workshop, field school, in Salem. Working on the old Criterion School. And so we did some siding removal and investigations. You know, what's original, what's not. Siding, preservation, quality of material. I'm gonna walk out a little bit ways before I look at the building. So, boom, here we go. So we're looking at whatever discrepancies we found. A uh, fascinating one was that there was a lot of uh, wheat berry and all of that that it seems like some sort of squirrel uh, planted in and I filled as much of the garbage bag as I can and I think it was over 30 pounds. It kept flowing. We have video of it. It was really cool. Never before. Um, so we see what we have going on. We'll put the siding back up after lunch. Get this uh, wall finished off. So we're at the State Fairgrounds in Salem, Oregon. I am co-teaching with Ryan Prohaska with Clatsop Community College's Historic Preservation Program. So I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And I restored the windows on this place four years ago, I guess. Like a year before COVID. Anyway, so. We're all having lunch break. We have to make new drip siding because that's caused a lot of deterioration. Oh, the bell's off its pedestal. the van and the gardens display gardens for the state fairgrounds tell you what just for giggles let's go this way we'll show you a little bit of the area so I've this is about the time of year of teaching from now through fall so we'll see. I know I will be in Metal Valley so I'm gonna do some work with or volunteer at Schaefer I look forward to that trip very much we'll be there for a couple weeks kind of bopping around the valley and then there's the poultry building and so just some of the landscape some of the buildings, the structures. This is what the Oregon State Fairground looks like. You know, it goes back a ways, big, large buildings. So. And what I like about the Oak Grove across the street is that that's how a lot of the native, or the peoples before white colonists um, they had these orchards of oak trees that were pretty well cared for and they would be able to harvest the the, uh, the acorns and That's very close to what it probably would have looked like. I just find it fascinating the the horticulturalistic Work Specific to the area. All right, so there you go um, So having fun We'll do another video when we're done. I think that's a vlog. Thank you. Bye-bye.